Welcome to the Spinner Rack with your hosts, Brian and Junior. Welcome back to the Spinner Rack, issue 38, Talking Toys. Who are you? I'm Bigby Brian Adams. This is my co-host, Junior Ruiz, comicsremix.com. That's it. And we talking toys. We talking toys. So, Brian, between recordings we were talking and you were saying how you've been out of it for a little while and, you know, you're still hoping to get a couple of the wrestling figures and stuff. And so, like, assuming, and we were talking earlier as well about the whole, it's a financial thing, obviously, mm-hmm. you know, to 20 bucks to 200 bucks mm-hmm. or $2,000, whatever it was. So let's say that disposable cash was there, man. What would what like, would you be catching up on and what would you be getting If into? you're talking like... Under, like I just won the fucking lottery disposable cash or you're talking like I just living got two grand living, oh, living comfortably. comfortably man there's all kinds of shit I get into like well what, what would you catch up on cause I know you're behind there's some uh, you know damn that's a hard decision dude I would probably hit the Marvel stuff I want really the old Marvel U mm-hmm. I'd probably get on board with this stuff just start buying cases of that mm-hmm. so I make sure I got everything all nice and mint right off the box right um uh, Star Wars lately, man. I've been thinking those original, what is it, twelve or sixteen figures, like it's mint on. Like if you could find, and I know you're giving me this look like that's money, <laughs> like that's the lottery <laughs> shit you were talking about. That's when you buy the Star Wars guys. Yeah, I always thought, but I know, yeah, I know that's hella money. Carded, right? yeah, it's hella money. Um, I don't you're know, man, dude. Honestly, I would grand. probably buy my a set of the turtles. I'd probably catch up on turtles, the new Playmate stuff. Yeah, and then buy another set. Okay. Just to hold out to. Because that shit's real popular. Yeah. I mean, you can't blame a guy for buying something and putting it away just because. Hell, I might even buy three sets. <laughs> well, you know, I'd give my, my kid one to play with. Right, right. That's, uh, I, that's the one the one thing I'm afraid of as a collector now because I always want to buy doubles of stuff to open it. Because you want, I want to open stuff. Okay. And unfortunately, that's, there's not a lot of that going on in my collection. Mm-hmm. I actually don't think I have anything I have a double of that I've opened. Yeah. Some things I've just fucking opened because I had to or the package got damaged. But uh, I'm afraid that when it does start getting there, like I want to pick up another Superior Spider-Man. I'm afraid when he gets older, he's going to take it. So you got to buy more, man. Mm-hmm. It's like I have the DC Universe line of uh, Hot Wheels based on just, well, it's yeah. mostly Batman villains. You've seen it. And uh, I'm afraid one day that kid, man, he's going to get in the car and be like, I want that, Dad. And luckily, you know what? I have another set that he could have, which would mean I would then have to sell my set. So I've been thinking about recopping a set for him because you can get them cheap stuff. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying they'll ever be worth money ever, but, I mean, fuck. Who's to say 20 years from now someone wouldn't decide, like, I want that, dude. That was awesome. I had that as a kid. I got a nice set, dude. And I won't even answer it beyond it because mm-hmm. I see how people do. That was a hunt for those cars, let me tell you. There's all kinds of stuff. I'd probably go after old Joe's, dude. Probably go after the toys I want. I'd definitely hook up a Grimlock. A G1? Yeah. Okay. As a matter of fact, I saw this comic book store on uh, their Facebook page. Pretty good prices on stuff. Um, I think they wanted 1100 for them, though. Unopened. For what? For Grimlock. The original Is Grimlock. It, um, Texas Toys? No. Uh, Zap Comics. I don't know. I've That's, never heard uh, of it. I, I'm. Some guy through one of the groups recommended checking them out, and they seem to have, like, really decent prices on comics, yeah. and they're always posting, like, old shit. Like, today, I was checking DFW out the shit. DFW Vintage is another uh, one. Yeah, DFW post. Vintage. There you go, people. Check these the places out. No, this this place is called Zap. Okay. And they had been hitting up, like, old Green Goblin appearances, like, from the first appearance to his death. Yeah. And then the prices seem pretty reasonable, and the books are in nice condition. And I've always heard good stuff from everyone that's dealt with them, so. But I've never bought anything from them then either. Right, right. And that's where we come, like, when you're talking about the WWE figures. Uh, it's it's hard to decide with this particular hobby that we have, especially in my situation where you don't have a lot of cash. And when you do splurge to catch up on something, mm-hmm. the rare chance you get, of, you know, whenever, once or twice a year. Yeah. You have to be careful who you buy from because you, you don't want to get shit. You want to get quality. That's why I come to you with a lot of stuff. And that's why I asked about ringside collectibles because I didn't want to, like, spend $100 and then have them tell me they weren't going to get me my Billy Gun. Right. Which, if they couldn't, or I think it's actually Road Dog. I think Billy Gun I locked down on eBay for, like, 30 bucks. But I was going to talk to you about it first <laughs> since you fucking know those prices. <laughs> prices get hairy, man, with the scalper stuff. We've covered that and said that in the past. Yeah, of course. I think I'm definitely that Marvel U line we talked about. Yeah. The previous issue. Now that's about. Is it out now? 
the infinite ones I was showing you. Yeah, those are out. Or are they yeah, about online to be? right now. They're out. Um, one guy found them in the store. Yeah. So they're starting to really just creep out right now. So you haven't seen them? And I personally have not seen them. No, you haven't not seen yet. them yet. But no, the West Coast and the South, like Texas in that area, mm -hmm. they tend to get them a lot quicker than we do. We'll get them like later on. We'll get them at least. That's weird. I they wonder see why it and we start seeing it like maybe two, three weeks after. Yeah. There is somebody on the West Coast who had uh, posted a bunch of photos of the new Power Rangers Megaforce, the six-inch armored Green Ranger figure. Mm -hmm. You know, they've seen how they, they were doing the white and the red and shit mm -hmm. from Mighty Morphin. So he had the green one. He had a few of them. And he was asking thirty bucks a piece. And fuck that. But that was like back in January, and I still have yet to see them. And people are a little crazy on those prices, man. Um, I saw a sweet buddy of yours on Facebook, uh, Mimo's Collectibles. Yeah. Posted that a uh, couple Hot Wheels and that uh, Goku action figure Super Saiyan. I was like, that's sweet. Yeah, yeah. I went and looked it up on eBay, and man, people want too much money for that shit. Yeah, they do. And th yeah, this is what I'm talking about. So when you have limited cash, man, it's really hard to decide, like, who's not going to rip you off and who's. It's, it's, this fucking scalping world's an evil bitch. Yeah. Um, I did see these, what I thought were sweet Dragon Balls, but, you know, that's. They're not. I was I'm like, damn, I'm like, I'm a, I think I might buy these, babe. I'm checking them out, and we're looking and looking and looking and looking at them. And I finally got them the specifications for them, and they're fucking, they're pretty much marbles, dude. Hmm. They're like seven centimeter crystals, yeah. little balls, and they have just for seven stars, not seven balls. And I was like, well, what the fuck, who, the, who wants that? That's not impressive. Yeah. Like, I want something that's at least, like, the size of a tennis ball. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. And when it comes to Dragon Ball, it's got to be at least. I mean, weren't they about tennis ball size? The yeah. Earth Dragon Balls, anyway? Because yeah. I remember the ones on other planets are, like, fucking enormous. We get the nice little hand ones. Mm-hmm. Because like holding our balls. <clears throat> nice. Ha-ha. So those look cool, but then, like I said, you know, you got to read the fine print. I don't understand people that sell open figures, though. I, I don't think I'd want to buy an open figure from someone. Mm-hmm. Unless I, like, knew them... Pro like, if I've been to your house and saw it on your shelf and you saw me off the shelf and I knew, like, it wasn't... Because I just don't trust There's what you're going to get that. from people. Because um, AFA does the grading. Uh, what the... Uncirculated. That's okay. what yeah, exactly. When AFA grades open action figures, if you send them a horrible package, you send it in the package and you're like, look, this is garbage, grade it as a loose figure, uh -huh. they will open it and throw the packaging away, but keep the figure and it will be considered uncirculated because no one's ever touched it. You know what I mean? Right on. So what do you think about this new, the new Marvel Legends? I'm digging the packaging on the new the, Marvel Legends. The Infinites. The is that what they call I have no idea. The Cap and the Spider-Man. The Cap and yeah. the Spider-Man. Marvel Legends, Legends Infinite Series. Okay. That's what uh, these new Marvel Universes are called. They're called Marvel Universe Infinite Series, but year one is Avengers, years two is X-Men. So okay. Like I'm, I'm liking them. I'm, I'm liking them. I've got all the Spider-Mans, all the variants, all of them. Um, variants? Yeah. yeah. The variants? Uh, they were uh, swap characters, they were calling them. Oh, like oh, okay. series one, right, 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 right. Series one swap character had Carnage, Black Hat, and um, what's the other one? Okay, I know uh, what you're talking. About. I thought maybe like actual variants on Spider Man. Oh no, no, no! Because you know me, I'm all about that stuff. Right? No, there's no. Yeah, no, I grabbed Superior out of that line, and I think the only thing that bothers me about that fucking the, the Marvel Legends thing, yeah. and a lot of the figure series nowadays are build the figures. Yeah. I understand it's one point that it might be like a driving force to get someone to go out and buy a complete set of that particular line. Mm -hmm. But for a person like me that the Amazing Spider-Man line, I don't want. Even though I think that Green Goblin would be a badass figure to have, why not just put him out as part of the fucking set? Because that's how they get you. Just fuck that build a figure shit. No, screw that. I, you know how like, they get me? I buy that stuff on eBay. I was looking at him. Like, uh, well, I got this leg, so I need the arms and, you know, piece it out. Yeah. And then okay. it's almost like not worth it because I'm not going to open the thing anyway. Okay. But I mean, when I, when I, I do get probably a double so I can open it. It, to me, it's just the fact that it's like, you know. I don't have shelf space to display any loose figures. Yeah. I'm not a loose figure collector. No. But if there's something really, really badass, I'll try to buy two and open one. But I have yet to... Like, everything I've bought an extra of in the last year or so to go ahead and open, I've ended up taking it back to the store for cash or trading it to right. store Right. See, I bought a lot of the old Marvel Legends, like the original stuff. The Toy Biz? Yeah. I had every single one. And uh, I, I, I probably had, like, 10 or 12, and I had them on a rack, like a, a rack shelf on the wall. Mm-hmm. And I opened them all because the display stands and shit. You can, you know, like Thor yeah, had like those, a, a pile think, of bones and shit and weapons. I think that was the last time that I bought extras to open. Yeah. Because those Marvel Legends. Because you could make like them. awesome poses with them and shit. Yeah. That was the thing, man. I don't know. I'm not a loose collector. You know that. But now, you see how it is now. I'm, I don't do that. Yeah. 
I, fifteen I, years I've ago. I said it before. I ten years ago, I was like, Shh, dude, no, no I, I won't. Like, well, let's finalize a quick toy deal here because I've been trying to get you a Spider-Man 2099 from Marvel Universe. Nice. I, I got you one right now, anywhere between twelve to fifteen dollars. For real? Yep. Seriously. Motherfucker, I'm not gonna lie. To what you. about the other ones? Well, that's the one I told them so far. But uh, here you go, man. Twelve to fifteen bucks. I hook people up. No scalpers here. That's that's fucking that's badass, dude. I can totally do twelve to fifteen for one of those. Absolutely. Well, that's just for the twenty nine. No, yeah, no, I understand that. I understand that. Well, I haven't seen that motherfucker for under twenty five bucks, thirty bucks. Right. That's and how I do. Then that bag, fucking head, man. So that's out of control. I get it. I'm waiting. I'll get it. Um, but yeah, there's uh, to go back to your original question. I know where we got off. Uh, the Marvel Legends. I was into the Toy Biz ones. I got almost all of them. Then I sold them all because I was just like, man, these take up like three or four totes. I had all the two packs and the big icon. I was like, I just can't do it. I got rid of everything because I was like, if I'm going to get rid of one, I can't. Or, yeah, I have to get rid of them all. I can't have a complete set. And I don't want to have reminders. It's like ex-girlfriends. You know, you just want to get right. rid of everything. So I got rid of all of them. And then I had a few of the Hasbro ones left. And I was like, fuck it. Got rid of those. And I was done with Legends. You know, then Hasbro restarted them again with the... Where the, the, the packaging was like regular blister mm-hmm. packaging and it had like the comic strips as the, the card. And um, I was like, they're cool. but And you would see Claw everywhere. Yeah. You know, like, man, him. And then I, I would see the big time Spider-Man, the black uh-huh. and green. I'd see that one a lot. And uh, it was just like, oh, they're not interesting. They're not catching my attention, you know. And then know for why. some reason, I saw the, the Infinites. And I'm like those look good and then when I saw them in package I was like those look really yeah. good then I see them in person and I'm just like yeah I'm getting these yeah packaging could be a grabber man oh yeah you know what I now that I think about the only reason I got into the Marvel Legends line is because my buddy was working a blockbuster he was a manager or assistant manager or some shit but that's that's not the point they had Iron Man and the Captain America there I think and Thor and he's like dude these things are usually like 15 bucks and he's like I think they're like 5 bucks right now he's like they're just trying to get them out fucking hey dude I'm like buy them for me and I mean, then he got a discount on top of him, so I think I only paid like twelve dollars. Okay. So four bucks a piece for Iron Man, Captain Thor. And I took him out because yeah. I didn't pay shit for him, and I fucking displayed him because I'm like, man, this is badass, you know. I got the core Avengers, much like how I always wanted to get like a badass Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, just the core, right? Fucking right. for DC. So I got it, and then I just started buying more line. I always open, and then I think when I moved, it was just space, mm-hmm. and then space for him. So I ended up giving them to my buddy's kid because yeah. he's all into that shit, like. Just he play with them. I figured. Right, right. I figured they spent fucking three years sitting in my shelf in my apartment. I got no place for them now. Just let this kid have them. They'll get some enjoyment. I don't fucking. Mm-hmm. What do I care about the money? And I gave my buddy my a Ghost Rider, which he was very unenthused about. When I gave the him Marvel Ghost Rider, the one that came with the big fight. Yeah, the one I asked you about. That I saw you. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, hey, how much you? I might want to recomp that. Let me know. I will. Yeah, Dick. I gave it to him. Just totally like. I mean, I'm sure he liked it, but he's just one of them unenthusiastic motherfuckers. Yeah. You know? They don't like, fucking A, dude, thanks. That's just nothing. Yeah, or, like, all right, cool, whatever. Like, sweet. It's like, he was more excited about it when I told him that he could have it than he was when <laughs> I gave it to him. But, uh, yeah, and now it's like, I don't, I, I really think it's dusting for me now. I'd be open to that shit and displaying it mm-hmm. if I had proper display. Like, a nice curio with a light. Mm-hmm. Like all glass, maybe like a few of those. Then I would open them and sit them in there, and you know, because mm-hmm. they're, they're cool to look. Because I really don't think, I mean, unless I get in some kind of financial situation where like I'm, it's like I have no choice now. These gotta go. It's just gotta happen. I'm gonna give you a good idea. Save you some money. Oh, Check this out. I'm gonna use that wall as an example. Mm-hmm. All right. You just go to Home Depot. You get a couple of thin boards, uh-huh. not too long. Nail them up as shelves. You know, space them. Go all the way as far as down as you want. Also at Home Depot, they sell pe- plexiglass. Shit's cheap. Measure it, get the proper size, screw it into the shelf. Bam! You just made your own display case on the wall. Yeah, but Shh. no, <laughs> I've done. Totally, I'm totally, out of here. <laughs> oh, you give me no credit, man. I've thought about this. I'm <laughs> out of here. I have totally thought of this myself. I thought about building like a nice little wall-mounted shelf, and but then it's that's not fancy enough for me. <laughs> You that's know the I mean? poor man's that's, that's the poor man's way to do it. That's how I'm going to end up doing it. 
I thought about like making it, uh, making a shelving and, and making these sideboards in the bottom a little bit uh, wider mm-hmm. than the shelves and put a little groove in it so I could get a piece of plexiglass glass and slide it down into there it. There you go. And then have like a nice little frame piece screwed on to the plexiglass so when it locks into place, it looks like mm-hmm. it's just one solid piece. Yeah, there you but, go. Fuck that. That's to work. <laughs> well, fuck being lazy, man. I read comic books. I'm too lazy for this shit, no. But I would really like to just get nice glass curios. And then I'd open them up, man. If it was a thing where I didn't have to dust it legally, you know. It's just right. Like the McKenzie Brothers set that I have. Well, SCT, well, I in think, case people don't know what the McKenzie Brothers are. I they would, have all these little fucking pieces, beer bottles. See, and stuff like that, I would think you would just hold and then get a can of air, like for the computers, and just shh. Spray dust that shit off. Yeah, but like, you there's, about there's that, like you? five or six beer bottles. No, the air can't blow them motherfuckers around. They're well, like little stupid plastic pieces. You hold it and blow on there. Oh, so you're saying just hold the little piece and yeah. blow the piece clean? Yeah. Man. Or if there's no stickers on there, what about dumping them in water? I just take a soft, dry cloth. Okay. Just like See, this it. is why I don't have loose figures. But I'm saying that's the that's the issue is who wants to fucking do like every fucking week you're like. Yeah. See, with the package figures, let's take a, t- uh, uh, yeah. a rag and. Fuck that! You oh, get you one of those Swiffer dusters with an extender for the ones that are high. See, but I'm, gonna, I'm I'm super anal. I can't just get the top. I have to get all the little. Oh, you gotta make sure you get how the creases. Marvel Universe had that little. Yeah, like, no, circle. totally. I I'd be all in there about. and shit. You know, just totally all on it. You're getting it all perfect and shit. Yeah. Just like you know, that's awesome, man. That's <laughs> that's a big. I know I've got some buddies. Uh, this buddy, my Brett Atwood out in Tulsa, got an awesome collection of fucking Marvel MU figures. Yeah, all open and on the stands. Really, the ones on I shelves. Have, the ones? Yeah. Wow. And I was like, dude. He's like, oh, it's not that bad, man. I'm like, I must be real fucking lazy then, because I had like twelve legends on shelves, and I felt like it was. Well, was part of the pain in the ass with that is, is his are just standing there, so you could just pull them up, wipe them down, stick them back in. Whereas the Marvel Legend one, once I moved it, I had to repose it and shit. Yeah. And then it was like, wait, this isn't working. This isn't how it was before. Totally. Gambit always gave me trouble. I had the Gambit yeah. with the Sentinel hand. And then I was checking, like, trying to do the badass gambit pose, but you wouldn't stand up straight. Wolverine's shitty claws. That's why I won't buy a Wolverine action figure. Until they learn a way to, like, give me some decent fucking claws that aren't going to look all, like, retarded. Mm-hmm. Like, if I pose the Wolverine figure and his claws are up, they're not all, like, you know, bending fucking one way or the other. Right, right. You know, did you ever have the original Marvel Legends in the fucking yellow and blue suit? Wolverine? His claws sucked. They were fucking gay. Oh, he's from Series 3, where he's like this or something posed? I got it loose. That's yeah, one of the ones the I got. The claws are terrible, man. Yeah, they're like very thin and they, they bend into each other. And yeah. yeah. See, that's why I don't like loose figures. Because to yeah, me, but you like, if I'm not displaying them, what am I gonna, I'm just tossing them in a box. They're just thrown in there. At that point, to me, they become toys. Whereas in the package, they are collectibles because the packaging is part of that presentation. Right. It's part of the whole the whole thing. Like at this point, my entire collection is all, you've seen it, it's yeah. all there. I've got it all displayed. And that's like as soon as we get new stuff, bam. Right. Picked up a few WWE figures. Bam, bam. Those mm-hmm. keep going on the wall. Nice. I'm assuming by the time, this time next year, that whole fucking back wall might be WWE. I'm kind of scared. I don't think it'll be that bad. You're going to be fucking scared. Wait till I get my own house. I'm not buying that many. I really, with the WWE figures, I, I stick to like... Certain ones. Damien Sandow. That's about it. I do want the fucking New Age Outlaws though. Wait Those till I get my own stuff. house, dude. I ain't invite nobody over to my basement to 100% set. <laughs> It's like, gotta be perfect. I ain't gonna be like, come on over, guys. Yeah, I put like two figures on the wall. I'm just starting. No, you're gonna come in. If it's not set, you're gonna see fucking piles everywhere. It's gonna be Junior's like, fucking museum of action figures. You know? And you're like one of those bank ropes. And you're like, what the fuck is that, dude? I don't want you knocking right. over the stack. Like, no, you can't go past the barrier. <laughs> yep, yep. The barrier is there for your safety. There's a fucking hired cop. Right. <laughs> like, dude, you got a cop in your house. Yeah, I know. Because you motherfuckers are here. Right. He leaves when you leave. That's hilarious man. <laughs> you walk in you've got to like put your handprint you know you're like why for security reasons and you do it and they're like now I got your fingerprints motherfucker so <laughs> what would you recommend right now would be the best toy line to invest money into if you were just trying to buy something to pawn off the road in 20 years or so um, five ten you know what I mean something you're going to hold on to for a while right well I mean if, if you're doing it strictly for the financial mm-hmm. Um, I'd probably have to go with the Star Wars black six inch figures. Yeah. Yeah. Because Star Wars figures have never been done in the Marvel Legends uh, look nor scale. So this is the first time. Yeah, see, so they are in bigger scale because yeah, I was, at, six, I was at Walmart and I saw the little ones. Black series. There's the small ones yeah. and then there's the six inch. 
Okay. So there's two. So screw them small ones. Yeah, I mean, you get the small ones. It's just certain characters <coughs> with the small right. ones, you know. But with the big ones, it, six-inch figures have never been yeah. done before. And like I said, they're posed like, or they're articulated like legends and everything. So those would be the ones. Because the Marvel Legend stuff, um, yeah, they're hot right now. But how many Captain America Marvel Legend figures have there been over time? Yeah, you know? seriously. They'll, they'll drop down. You know, Transformers, unless they're not Masterpiece Transformers, don't invest in them. Masterpiece Transformers are the creme de la creme of the Transformers. Would you say that at this point with the uh, the new Marvel Universe line coming out, Infinites or whatever it is? The Avengers? The small ones? Yeah. The Avengers. These new lines starting for their 3.75 figures. Mm -hmm. Would it be smart to like buy some stock into that? Or, or is it really not like... Because the MU, they don't really seem to be that much pricier now that they're not in the stores. I mean, you might pay like, what were they, 10 bucks when they're on the pegs? Yeah, that's just about... So you might pay like 12 to... You know, whatever you're going to pay, some of them are a little more expensive. Right. I know, like, I saw Green Goblin's kind of expensive, Hobgoblin. Yeah, a lot of those earlier ones, those uh, Series 1 figures. Um, would I invest in those as a collector? Yeah, but if I'm trying to get rid of them down the line, no. not worth it unless you've got a complete series. I don't even really feel like a collecting at this point in, in time is even worth it if you're in it for money. Not at all. Because it, it's really it is, Well, no, let me take that back. It is and it isn't. Because assuming the hobby survives another... 20 years, uh -huh. okay? The kids from today are going to want to buy with the stuff they grew up on. Like right. us, as collectors, we tend to have a soft spot for the stuff we grew up with. So right. we try to get that in our collection. So the problem with toys today are, the, A, the scalpers. They're hard to find. Toys are hard to find. So kids don't have as many choices anymore. Um, price points, of course. You know, the toys are expensive now. So mommy and daddy not buying that toy, you know, it's a lot less to collect later. So, right. But stuff like, factors like that go into, and since they're so pricey, and uh, pl this is the point I'm trying to get, plastic is a lot pricier, harder to find, stuff like that. A lot of these toys are made in smaller numbers as well from how they were made when we were kids. Mm -hmm. You know, so they're going to be a lot rarer to find. Right. And you're either going to pay very high prices or it's just going to flop. There's not going to be an in-between. I don't think there will be an in-between. There's either high or low. Because like I said, you're going to get those kids who grow up and want from the toys from today. So they might be the ones interested in the Marvel line. But for all we know, 20 years from now, they might still have a, a line similar to this one. Uh -huh. you know, where they're just introducing their characters and their current looks. I think it's more the, the stuff that you've never seen before or the more limited stuff. Right, That's the, right. Like I said, if you're going to invest um, Star Wars Black 6-inch, in my opinion, and um, Masterpiece Transformers. Because Masterpiece Transformers are the creme de la creme. And then for WWE figures, I, in my opinion, it's best to just get first in line. Yeah, yeah, That's first in line. If, if you're doing it for an investment. Yeah, if you're if you're trying to turn salt around, first in line is probably where it's at. And Elites, you know, because yeah. I've seen the first 11 series of Elites. When they had the Red Box when mm -hmm. they first came out, when Mattel took over. Dude, all of those figures are 40 50 60 bucks. Yeah. Wow. All of them. Even the shit characters. They're wow. just all up there. So elites are always elites are a good line to invest in as well. Definitely, even the John Cena's. You know, I always feel like when they put out fucking figures on the elites, because like I said, that's really more Melissa's thing than mine. She's like I said, but she wants a bunch of them. And I always feel like that it's better to get the elites over the fucking the regular guys, just because I think they look a little better. Yeah, I had this conversation with somebody last. I mean, week. it costs a little more money, but yeah, you know, if I see when it comes to the elites, I only collect the flashback figures. Yeah. And then if it's a current character, it depends who it is, you know. Um, like with this latest like series. Like you probably snatch up a Fandango. Actually, I was going to say, with this Series 27, out of the entire Series of 6, the only one I don't want is Kofi Kingston. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, okay, I want the rest. But Billy Gunn and Rikishi are the only two flashbacks. By the way, for those that didn't know, Rikishi has a variant. If you guys are collecting men on card, there's one where he comes packaged with his red um, ceremonial gown. Right on. Uh, and That's there's cool. one where it's packaged next to him. Oh, nice. Instead, a lot of people don't know that. <laughs> but then I saw The Undertaker with the entrance row. Yeah. Like, that looks dope. Yeah, the that does look good. The colors. So did you grab the Ultimate Warrior? Warrior? Yeah. He's a flashback nice. figure. You know, like, Ultimate Warrior. Like, the first flashback figure was Series 12. It was Kane. That motherfucker's like $100 now. They're expensive, man. The elite, I, I would have to go with the Elite. Yeah, I know. Figures are crazy, man. But you know me. I'm a completist. So if I can't go back and easily get the older figures, that's why like, I collect from Series 12 uh -huh. on with the Elites, only for flashbacks. So I collect the basic figures. Right. You know, yeah, they don't look as nice, but for some reason I get more of an enjoyment out of having the basics as a complete series than the Elites. Right on. I don't know. It's just me. Yeah, I see. I don't think she cares. Yeah. No, Depends on how they look. Yeah, I think it's how they look and how rare are they. 
Like she, like I said with the Roman Reigns, she likes the scream. And then I bought the Roman Reigns and remembered that she liked the fucking the yelling Roman Reigns, which is the basic versus yeah. the elite. And I was like, well, fuck. She's got to return that shit. He's not hard to find, but he's not easy. No. Yeah. We got some hunting to do. Hunting's always fun. Issue 38. Talking toys. We're talking toys. Just for the hell of it. Just for the hell of it. Because we like toys. We love toys. This probably could have easily won another two, three issues. Yeah, probably. We could we could probably sit here and ramble for hours and hours just talking about toys. A whole third year. Right. Or, excuse me, yeah, our whole next year will be all about toys. We could, yeah, next year, coming next year, <laughs> uh, we're going to have a sister podcast, The Spinner Rack, Just Toys. Yeah. Well, that would be Collector's Corner, the audio version. <laughs> the audio version of Collector's Corner. So. That's awesome. As always, I'm your host, B.B. Brian Adams. Junior Reese, co-host of Comics Remix. And check out everything we do at comicsremix.com. See you next week. Peace.